In this video, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to trade with multiple prop firms at the same time, which is one simple platform called the Quant Tower. I've made a video about this in the past. I'm getting a lot of questions. There's some confusion. So I want to clear some things up and show you guys how it's done. First and foremost, Quant Tower, it is not a free platform when it comes to trading multiple accounts at the same time. It's free if you want to just trade with Apex. But if you want to trade with multiple rhythmic connections, you want to log into Apex, Bullnox, Top Step at the same time, then you would need a license for Quant Tower. Now, you don't need the full license. All you need is a advanced features license. It's $25 a month. If you get six months, it's only $120. So it's $20 a month. It's totally worth it. And I highly, highly recommend it. Links down below for that. Now, you'll get your login for Quant Tower. And I do have a trial of this as well for all the features. So you'll be able to try this before you actually have to pay. Then you will log in. And once you're logged in, you'll have access to all the features that you've paid for, which is just the advanced features, which is not only logging into multiple prop firms, but also a couple other things. But anyway, now let's log into all of the accounts. You'll click on Rhythmic and you'll hit the plus sign here and then you'll see your rhythmic and then you just input your credentials same way you would do on your art trader pro if you've never logged into your prop firm before you have to log into your art trader pro first our trader is what all this is kind of connected to so to be able to sign data agreements and different forms you will have to log in first to the art trader pro make sure you guys follow the instructions with your prop firm when you get your credentials for the first time they'll tell you to do that as well but now let's, I already have everything in here. So you could just rename it to whatever, <laughs> whatever you like. Uh, it's my second take on this video. The first one was too long, but you could just rename it, you know, um, my funded futures and boom. And you could just put in the, um, put in the credentials here and you'll be good to go. So I have my apex tip number one, always log out out of your accounts before you shut down the platform. Sometimes it will take a long time to actually connect. If you leave everything connected, you shut down the platform, you reopen it, everything will start connecting at the same time. And if you have a lot of accounts like I do with Apex, then it takes a lot longer than this to actually connect. All right, so keep that in mind. Always try to remember to log out. If you only have one account, then it shouldn't be an issue. But if you have you know five, six PA accounts and 10 evaluations, then it takes a little bit longer to load it. All right, so that's my Apex. Then I'm gonna log into my Bull Knocks. And just to show you guys, I'll also log into my Top Step. I think I deleted my Top Step. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Obviously, you have to select whatever um, area you're from or whatever firm you're you know, trading with because some firms have their own rhythmic servers. So keep that in mind. Obviously, this is all the same thing as on our Trader Pro. But let's log in. And I'm going to show you next the biggest issue that people come across. And that is, how do I select what account I want to trade on each chart? So let's wait for this to log in. Once it's green, it's good to go. And you'll see the chart show up here because this is my top step chart. But... When I click, this is my ball locks. If I click here, I don't see my Apex accounts. I don't see my top step accounts. How do I get them to show up here? That is something that people are confused about. And I have it set up right now where this is my Apex. This is my ball locks. This is my top step. You click in the window where it says what contract you want to trade. There's two ways of doing it. First, if you just scroll down, you see Apex here. That's the name of the connection. That's why it's important to rename your connection so you don't get confused. Otherwise, it will just say Rhythmic 1, Rhythmic 2. But if you scroll down, now you guys see Bullnox, right? So if I just minimize all these, you see Bull Apex, Bullnox, and Top Step. And that's the answer. If I want Apex to be in here, I click Apex. Then I select NQ for Apex. And boom, now it's all Apex accounts in here. Now, if I want Top Step in here, then I select top step. And that is the confusion that people are having trouble with. And now all the top step accounts show up. 
You could also just click on all connections and then select whichever one you want. So again, this is my top step. So I want to select that. Oh, that's the options. And then you could do front month or whichever, um, you know, I usually just do front month and it works fine. And that's that. So that's the easy part. Now let's talk about copy trading. So you could actually not only trade these accounts individually if you want. So you could trade, you know, your ball knocks here. You could trade your Apex here, your top step here, whatever you want to do. But if you want to copy trade between these firms, you can as well. So you have your copy trading, which is also right here. So you have, I already have one here, but let's just make this bigger. So you'll hit the plus sign. Then you rename the bot. So I'll make this uh, video multi-firm. So this is just to show you guys I'm doing it now. So Ball Knox account will be, so this account will be the parent connection, but you could select whichever one you want. And again, that's why it's important to rename your accounts. Then we have Apex and then we have Top Step. So let's make Top Step and then we just save it all right so we'll save it let's move that over um we do have now you see it here so we do have to hit that to turn on so if you want it to be working make sure that's turned on and just to show you guys that it works we could just right click so now this is the mouse trader which is what i love using on quant tower this is something that's not available on ninja and this is a huge benefit of quant tower and I'll just right click to place a limit order to sell up here. And you guys could see that all three accounts are now traded. All right. So three accounts are traded and that's as easy as it gets. All right. So that's that. Now, if I want to add more connections, I sure can. So I added more connections. So now if I place an order, see, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six accounts at the same time. So you could do, I don't know how many you could do at once, but um, I don't have any issues, but let me just show you guys one more thing that I forgot to say. Now, I typically, I typically change this to the um, multiplier and I leave it at one. So I keep it at one. What I've found out is that if you try to trade multiple prop firms or multiple accounts and you try to change up the size. So let's say on this account, I want to trade just, you know, hundred percent of the size. So if I select one contract, it will be one. And let's say on this account, I want to trade double that, right? So if I trade three contracts on this, this one will take six and so on. That's when you could have issues on the copy trader more often than not, because if you get partial fills, if you try to move your orders after the fact, there will be some discrepancy and things could go wrong. So always keep an eye on it, but always just stick to same size. So if you want to trade different size, just trade it independently. And that will be better off because again, when you get partial fills, um, let's say if you try to short five contracts, if you get filled with one contract first and then the other four fill in a second later, now that's two different bracket orders. And that's how the copy trader could get screwed if you have, you know, um, different sizes of contracts. So keep that in mind. Also with the advanced features, you will have the option to not only set up a simple bracket, but you could do a multi bracket, which means that you could set up, you know, multiple targets. So you could have, you know, first, um, so you want to hit that. So let's say three, two contracts will be at 20 ticks and then leftover would be at 50. So let's say if I take three contracts, two contracts, the target will show up at 20 and then the other one will show up at 50. And that's pretty, um, pretty sweet. I could actually show you guys this on, on the, um, top step since I have a demo account or a practice account. So we do a stop loss. So the stop loss of 40, 
just so you guys could see the, the actual. So this one was set at 10, and this one was set at 20, and then this one where I guess first select how many targets you want. So we'll do four or one one and then we'll take four contracts. So if I take four contracts. Now it's on the bid, so you guys could see it's not filled yet, but if I fill it. Uh, of course it won't fill so let's just take a market order and now you, you guys could see that the three targets show up and then the stop loss gets placed but you guys could see how there's two stop losses here that means that the order did not get filled you guys could see two lines as well so the order got filled in two different order um lots and that's how the copy trader gets screwed if you trade multiple sizes that's a perfect example and that's a terrible trade <laughs> right away we're losing but you guys get the point. Um, and then you could move your orders. So I actually got filled in three lots. And that's why there's three different stops. And again, that's how the copy trader could get really screwed. I'm not copy trading because now I'm trading this account. And this one is not the leader account. So you have to always set up a leader account or the parent account. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward, guys. Again, um, we could just kill this. So I uh, to kill everything, don't hit close positions. If you hit close positions, the bracket orders will stay. If you hit flatten, everything disappears. And that's what you want, especially for the copy trader. And then if something stays on, you always want to have the working orders window available so you could see if there's any orders that are left behind that way you could cancel and close the orders beforehand if you need to make a layout you click here and you just you know create a new space workspace and you just create whatever you want obviously i've played around with it and um, i'm not even using the default uh, color scheme either so your quantire might look a little bit different but anyway, guys, that's that. The biggest thing is how to trade multiple firms, how to get the access to your accounts, how to log in, and so on, which is what I answer in this question. Everything else should be pretty much self-explanatory, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be more than happy to make another video for you guys, all right? And don't forget, tomorrow is the last day of the 80% um, off sale. All right, so 80% off is over tomorrow. So take advantage. Again, thank you so much for the support. Hit that like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord. All the links are down below as well. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.